Hello everyone, this is a time lapse of my drawing that I submitted for the Arc Knights fan art contest in DeviantArt. The software I use is Krita and it is free and a good alternative for other premium drawing softwares. I decided to draw Silver Ash, a 6 star guard class operator in Arc Knights. His race is feline, as you can tell from his ears and tail, and his birthday is February 15th. He is also a warlord and the chairman of the Carlin Commercial Co Company, and also has two sisters codenamed Cliffheart and Promenix. I chose to draw him because he is a very popular operator amongst players thanks to his very powerful attack. I like his character design, his businessman slash nobility look suits him and it made him look like a badass. Anyway, I will leave you to enjoy the time lapse and while you're here, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. See you later.
So this is the finished drawing. Um, it looks moderate. <laughs> it looks average. Um, yeah, it. I. Some parts are not looking good, especially uh, this here. Uh, the line art on the couch that needs to be fixed, uh, and some parts of silver ash uh, is also needs some improvements. But you can't really see because of the awful colors. Um, 
and the, also the sh the shadings around the pants is also very messy it's very distracting i wasn't even thinking that i wasn't even taking my time i just choose a random brush and do some random strokes on it and results in very horrific <laughs> outcome i'm sorry by the way i'm sorry if i butchered uh, your favorite Art Knight's character um, it looks awful I know but just bear with me okay I'm going I'm going over to all the things that needs to be improved oops that didn't I didn't mean to do that um, what else yet uh, silver ash is the main focus here of course I of course I try to do a lot I try to do highlights and very subtle and shadows on the hair as well very subtle not much is done um, also the uh, painting the <laughs> painting the shadows uh, of how do you what do you call this this is like a, a drop shadow maybe where, where you just where you determine where the shadow falls is very complicated this should, shadow should continue to the floor um, but it's kind of hard for me to figure it out I'm all I'm guessing that only the f f the left leg the left leg is the one that's touching the floor so the shadow might be uh behind the leg and you can't see it but and also I put a s shadow right here just to suggest that the, f the foot is touching the floor this is a big couch so you don't see the legs it's out of the frame it makes the drawing a bit simpler the background is pretty flat as well uh nothing to be and uh, no, it's pretty flat just to take away focus from that but very very saturated I just realized and also kind of distracting maybe especially this picture frame um, it might be a little bit distracting to some of you and I did some a little bit of shading on the curtain uh, it's very simple shading with just an airbrush uh, with black or yeah I think it's black on some parts the window is also very simple just a flat color and you might have seen me flipping the images few times in the time lapse but let's just see how it looks uh, when I flip it now it might look horrible because that's usually uh, <laughs> the reaction you get so here we go one two three <laughs> ah. Your brain is so used to seeing the image uh, not flipped, but now that it's flipped, it looks there's a lot more things that is wrong. Um, it's kind of hard for me to, to find the head. The head looks oh, too big, I think. The head, Silver Ash's head, is too big, and the painting looks awful. I didn't. I I forgot to color. Oh my god! I you know I forgot to p add color to. Uh, this person the, that is supposed to be Pramanix I forgot to add color to that I will do that later after this video is done but yeah I forgot to add I forgot to color the outfit um, what else let's just flip it back it looks horrific <laughs> um, the tail is pretty decent I would say though it lacks shading shading because I don't know how to do it properly um, I like this part here the color uh, I think I did this correctly somewhat the shadow is right below this big collar right here and it looks convincing what do you guys think let me know in the comments and also if you have any tips or advice throw it in the comments I'll read it all of I'll read all of them and I'll try to use them in my next artwork whenever that will may be and hopefully it will be better than this first one so yeah i hope you enjoyed the time lapse i will and i will see you in the next one